Accounting for share capital Accounting for share capital is related to company form of organization. A company is an artificial person created by law with perpetual succession. In Indian context, the Companies Act 2013 provides this law. A company can raise capital in its own name. Capital of a company is contributed by number of shareholders who are collective owners of the company. Share capital of the company consists of a specified number of shares. Let us discuss Shares and Share Capital Methods of Issue of Shares Accounting Treatment of Issue of Shares Issue of Shares for Cash Treatment of Share Price Issue Calls in Advance and Calls in Areas Under and Oversubscription of Shares Issue of Shares for Consideration Other than Cash Capital Reserve Forfeiture of Shares Reissue of Forfeited Shares Forfeiture and Reissue of Shares Allotted on Pro Rata Basis Shares and Types of Shares A share is a unit of ownership interest in capital of a company. A shareholder's ownership in the company is to the extent of number of shares held by him out of the total number of shares issued by the company and subscribed by the shareholders. There are two types of shares. Equity shares Preference shares Share capital and its types Share capital denotes the amount of capital raised by a company through issue of its shares. It represents face value of shares issued and paid. If shares are issued at premium, share premium is shown separately. Types of share capital are authorized capital, issued capital, subscribed capital, called up capital, reserve capital and paid up capital. Methods of issue of shares There are several methods for a company to issue its shares. These include private placement. Offer for sale. Rights issue. Public subscription. And preferential allotment of shares. Accounting Treatment of Issue of Shares Different types of issues of shares have different types of accounting treatment on the basis of Consideration for issues of shares Timing of payment of share issue amount Issue price of shares Receipt of amount of calls Extent of subscription Forfeiture and reissue of forfeited shares Disclosure of share capital in company's balance sheet Issue of shares for cash Issue of shares for cash involves issuing shares against receipt of cash from the applications to whom shares are allotted. Amount of issue is either paid in lump sum or in installments. Journal entries for amount payable in lump sum. For receiving application and allotment amount, the journal entry is For allotment of shares, the journal entry is Journal entries for amount payable in installments. In installments, the amount is payable on application, allotment and calls. Let's understand with the help of an example. In this example, journal entry for amount received on application is Journal entry for allotment of shares is Journal entry for allotment money due is Journal entry for allotment money received is Journal entry for first call due is Journal entry for amount of first call received is 
journal entry for second and final call due is journal entry for amount of second and final call received is treatment of share issue price shares are issued at par and at premium issue of shares at par this means issuing shares on face value of shares face value of shares issued and issue price of shares remain the same for example issuing shares of face value of 10 rupees at 10 rupees let's see an example journal entry for receipt of share application money and its transfer to the share capital account is journal entry for allotment money being due and its receipt is journal entry for first call money being due and its receipt is journal entry for second and final call money being due and its receipt is the extract of balance sheet is issue of shares at premium issue of shares at premium means issuing shares at a price which is more than face value of the shares securities premium is the amount over and above the face value of securities issued for example a company has issued shares of 10 rupees each at 14 rupees in this case share premium is 4 rupees 14 rupees minus 10 rupees journal entries for issue of shares on premium are issue of shares at discount issue of shares at discount means issuing shares at below their face value for example issuing shares of face value of rupees 10 at rupees 9 it is worthwhile to note that issue of shares at discount is prohibited under section 53 of companies act 2013 shares can be issued at discount as sweat equity shares under section 54 of companies act 2013 to employees and directors only Calls in advance. Calls in advance mean receiving amount on shares issued by a company before this becomes due for payment. Calls in advance arise when applicants pay amount of a call along with payment of allotment money. Applicants pay amount of second and final call along with payment of amount of first call. The shares are oversubscribed and applicants are allotted shares on pro rata basis let's understand with the help of an example Calls in arrears. Calls in arrears mean amount on shares subscribed due but not paid by shareholders. It is treated in two ways by opening calls in arrears account or without opening calls in arrears account. Let's understand with the help of an example. under over and minimum subscription of shares under subscription of shares it means receiving applications for less number of shares than the total number of shares issued for example a company has issued 10 lakh shares of rupees 10 each it has received applications for 9 lakh shares in this case shares are under subscribed to the extent of 1 lakh shares over subscription of shares it means receiving application for more shares than shares issued. In this case, 
only shares issued can be allotted to applicants. For this purpose, basis of share allotment is worked out. Minimum subscription. According to Section 39.1 of Companies Act 2013, no allotment of any securities of a company offered to the public for subscriptions shall be made unless the amount stated in the prospectus as the minimum amount has been subscribed and the sums payable on application for the amount so stated have been paid to and received by the company by check or other instrument. If this condition is not fulfilled, the company will refund the application money to the applicants within the specified time. Basis of Share Allotment There are three bases on which shares will be allotted to applicants in case of oversubscription, rejecting some applications, pro rata basis, and combination method. Issue of shares for consideration other than cash. These include Preliminary expenses and purchase of assets capital reserve capital reserve is the reserve which is created out of capital profits capital profits may arise due to profit before incorporation of a company purchase of assets on profit sale of fixed assets on profit profit on revaluation re of fixed assets profit on reissue of forfeited shares and profit on redemption of debentures. This amount can be used to write off capital losses, write off preliminary expenses, issue fully paid up bonus shares, and buy back shares. Difference between reserve capital and capital reserve. Forfeiture of shares. Forfeiture of shares means cancelling shares allotted to a shareholder for non-payment of due amount within the specified period. When the shares are forfeited, amount paid on these shares is not returned to the concerned shareholders. Articles of Association of the Company have provision for forfeiting shares. The company has given 14 days notice to the defaulting shareholders to pay the amount due on shares along with interest and forfeiture of shares in case of non-payment of amount due. If the amount is not received by the due date, Board of Directors of the company passes a resolution for forfeiting shares. Accounting treatment when forfeiture of share is issued at par. Accounting treatment when forfeiture of shares is issued at premium. Reissue of forfeited shares. Forfeited shares can be reissued by the company at any time as Board of Directors has power to reissue forfeited shares at terms which the Board thinks fit. These shares may be issued at par or premium. Accounting Treatment for Reissue of Forfeited Shares at Par Accounting Treatment for Reissue of Forfeited Shares at Premium Forfeiture and Reissue of Shares on Pro Rata Basis in case of shares allotted on pro rata basis, all the shares applied for are not allotted to applicants. Therefore, the entire amount paid at the time of application is not appropriated to application money and there is excess amount. This excess amount is appropriated to amount of allotment and calls depending on the extent of oversubscription. On forfeiting shares, it is ascertained whether the excess amount is sufficient to meet amount of allotment and call. If amount is not sufficient, the applicants are required to pay the due amount. If he does not pay the due amount, his total shares are forfeited. For example, Vimal applied for 1000 shares and paid application money at 2 rupees per share. He was allotted 400 shares. In this case, his excess money is 1,200 rupees. Allotment amount is 4 rupees per share. Excess amount of Vimal is not equivalent to allotment amount. If Vimal does not pay due amount of 400 rupees, his 400 shares will be forfeited because forfeiture is not partial but full.